Good evening and welcome from Eugene Snyder Field here at the beautiful Argus High School. Steve Stricker alongside Andy Stone. Hello, hello, and here we go. And welcome to RTC4.com's coverage of Argus Lady Dragons Soccer. Getting set to go here with the 2017 season for the girls. Tonight they welcome in the Lady Cougars from Kankakee Valley High School. This is the first game for both teams. The Lady Cougars are coached by Audrey Johnson. She's in her third year with the Cougars. Last year they were 9-7-1. and one. And we welcome in first-year head coach Joe Stone to the sidelines for the Lady Dragons. The Lady Dragons' 2016 record was 12-4-1. Very good record, but they were unable to get out of the sectionals. Uh, beat by Mishawaka Marion for the second season in a row in the second game of the sectionals in LaVille. They returned seven starters from their squad last year. They have 31 girls on the team, Andy, and uh, you've been able to go and watch uh, a few practices, I know. Uh, obviously, your brother is the head coach now. He's coming into the uh, head coaching job with lots of experience. He was the JV uh, head coach at Ancilla for one year, but previous to that, he was a co assistant with Todd Vanderweel for uh, eight years. And, of course, he's, what, a 1989 Argus graduate? 89. Five kids have been in the school system, and uh, two of them still in the school system. Uh, Alora is a junior on the girls' team, and his uh, youngest son, Gabe, is a freshman this year on the boys' team. So uh, definitely not a new face to the program by any means whatsoever. So uh, what have you seen so far in the practices you've been able to go see, Andy? Well, we got a lot of quality here coming back. Um, a good group of seniors, good group of uh, underclassmen. Uh, practices are just good touches and so on and so forth, but they really shined in the uh, scrimmage versus LaVille where they uh, come out on top four to one. So what we're going to do is we're going to have Brandon Sh or Zach Schaefer. Sorry, Brandon was last year. Zach Schaefer is going to do the starting lineups, and then we'll go into the national anthem. So we're going to turn the mic over to where you'll hear what he has to say, and then we'll come back and uh, go to uh, the pregame before it gets going. But they're ready to lined up. We only got about a minute and a half. I expect, you know, we, we talked about it. The, the program's been built with a lot of work, um, multiple ages, and a lot of tons and tons of hours out of these girls. So it's, it's not just an overnight thing. This is a commitment for the last, well, since a lot of them started in 2004. <laughs> well, yeah, you, so, you talk about it. you got nine seniors out there, and it starts with uh, your daughter, Sam, and the uh, keeper, Abby Manikowski. Mm -hmm. I saw a, a post earlier that said that they've played somewhere in the neighborhood of 170 matches together. Um, they did the, they went back, and Abby's, you know, she's going to be a statistician when a statistician when she comes up and goes into college to 178 games together. Today is their 179th game, so they're going to end up breaking 200 by the looks of it uh, uh, by the end of the season. Um, you know, it's it's something to see, and the girls have been really uh, hard work, lots of hours, and, and lots of uh, time and dedication out of the parents and a lot of coaches in the past. So, so they're lining up. So we're going to do the uh, national anthem, and then... Zach Schaefer will do the lineups for us.
meet tonight's teams. First for the visiting Kankakee Valley Cougars. A senior wearing number one, Natalie Fox. A junior wearing number three, Aubrey Toppin. Sophomore wearing number five, Cheyenne Shooter. A senior wearing number 16, Nicole Nanega. A senior wearing number 17, Shannon Urbano. A junior wearing number 18, Becca Caldwell. A junior wearing number 25, Abby Homrich. Wearing number 27, a sophomore, Carly Riffett. Junior wearing number 28, Vanessa Villapando. A sophomore wearing number 43, Carmen Nowick. And in the goal for the Cougars, a sophomore, Jenna James. Kankakee Valley is coached by Audrey Johnson. And now let's welcome your 2017-2018 Argus High School Lady Dragons. A junior wearing number five, Gabby Allen. Wearing number six, a sophomore, Morgan Dunlap. Wearing number nine, senior, Sydney Miller. A junior wearing number 12, McKenna Burkholder. Number 13, sophomore, Taylor Dowdle. Number 16, a junior, Alora Stone. Wearing number 17, junior, Allison Overmeyer. Number 18, a senior, Samantha Stone. Senior, number 21, Lexi Vanderweel. Senior wearing number 22, Morgan Baldwin. And in the goal for the Dragons is senior Abby Manikowski. Argus is coached by Joe Stone, assisted by Carly Vanderweel and Sammy Hopkins. Good luck to both teams. Let's play soccer. Got right. going for you, Ray. All righty. Thanks to uh, Zach Schaefer for the starting lineups. We got the national anthem <laughs> starting lineups. The two teams are out on the pitch getting set to go. It's a beautiful night here from uh, Argus High School. The sun's setting across the way. Uh, over the uh, park, and uh, it's a great night for some soccer here, Andy. 2017 <laughs> season, your uh, senior year for your daughter. Um, talking to Joe a little bit before the game, you know, he's super excited, obviously, to be the uh, the head coach and everything this year, but uh, one thing he wanted to point out, 31 girls mm -hmm. on the pitch for the uh, team. School of, what, 600, K through 12? Yeah. Kankakee Valley, 800, 9 through 12. 9 through 12. 800 kids, <laughs> and they got 25 girls that came out. Yep. So <laughs> that tells you a little bit about what soccer means to the community here in Argus. And uh, we're going to see how they can get started here with the uh, 17 season. Getting set to go here from Eugene Snyder Field. They call it the perfect pitch, Andy, and it sure looks good tonight. Well, here we go. And they pull it back, and then they put it in. A new rule change as of this year. You do no longer have to hit it forward to go past the line. And here comes Baldwin already on the attack, and she's going to go through and kicks out of bounds, and it's going to be a throw-in for the Dragons. Oh, my. I almost have butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I understand. I know how it is at the start of basketball season, so I can yeah. imagine what you feel like here at the start of the uh, season. The uh, boys are over at Warsaw tonight, and they're opening up their season tonight on the road versus the Tigers. Baldwin puts it up, and it's just off wide. So it uh, looks like he's packed and stacked the defense on the back there with uh, Stone Stone and Dotto. And it looks like uh, 17, Allison Overmeyer on the left-hand side. Going to go from uh, playing out of the back and running through the midfield. Gabby Allen and Vanderweel in the middle. And then there's a quick handball. Lexi puts it right over to Samantha Stone. Samantha looks, takes a quick shot, and that's going to be way off the target. Not a bad idea, but definitely wants to relax and put it on frame. That's what Coach Stone's telling her. So we got the Morgan and Morgan. Turning that law up top, going after the... Uh, Goals for the Dragons today, and Sydney Miller with the left on the left-hand midfielder with the left foot. So, Dragons got a pretty good, uh, pretty good roster out there. They're just going to have to prove it here a little bit. A uh, couple rough uh, games against Marion and out of the sectional, so they got no love uh, from the uh, 
initial rankings out of the state of Indiana. But we're going to see what happens. Nice ball in the middle. Here comes Morgan Dunlap. Or ball, yeah, Dunlap, sorry. I'm going to just call it by last names. I'm not going to even worry about the Morgans. Ball's in the middle, and Baldwin runs through and just about gets it in. Right place, the right time. Beautiful cross that time by Morgan Dunlap to Morgan Baldwin. Just uh, not able to get the ball down. Goes over the top of the goal there for the Lady Dragons. So uh, two quick shots on goal for the Lady Dragons. Uh, you got to like what you've seen so far here. Uh, still 37 and a half minutes to go in the first half, but uh, the pressure's been on Kankakee yep. Valley so far. And here's a short hit. Burkholder's on. Turns to the wide, and then they're going to try to shut her down. And then Dunlap comes her back, and it's out of bounds, and it's going to be throw in Kankakee. Grandewill turns. Hits in the middle. Baldwin picks it up. Going to go wide and gets cut off. Maintains possession. Hits it up to Sydney Miller. Sydney Miller looking for a quick one and gets past her. Quick throw in. Remove it all together. All right, throw in. Kankakee turns it. Overmeyer takes it out and resets. Samantha Stone hits it across over to Burkholder. Alora Stone has it, hits it up, and Dunlap's on the run. She's going wide. Good, tenacious defense and offense, both of them battling. I like it. Morgan Dunlap's going to get called for the foul, so it's going to be KV ball. We saw the uh, Lady Cougars get the ball over the uh, mid-court line, midfield line there. They've uh, not had it on the dragon side of the field a whole lot yet. but nope. uh, And instantly pushed back across, and now Baldwin's got a good tackle. The ball's loose. And let's see what happens. Now it's the Baldwin. Here she goes. She's going to apply the pressure. And goes right through. And she almost, she looked like she was going to try to slide it through with a through ball, but then kept on to it. Looked like maybe Morgan was a little too close too to close, her. Too close, yeah. A little, a little direct. easier to uh, defend that when they're yep. that close. And it's going to be out and throw in for Kankakee. And we go throw in. Dragon's ball. Well, I definitely want to thank RTC for all their hard work and allowing us to do this again for another beautiful season out here at Eugene Snyder Field. Um, we can't say enough for all their contributions in uh, local communities. And Argus, once again, they are stepping up, and we want to thank Chips it up, and Burke is going to run, and I don't know. It's going to stay in. She's going to get there. Good ball, and Burke loses it. Kicks across. Ball's loose. Stone gets it again. Splits them. Hits it wide. Hits it wide. Burke holder. Applies the pressure and the ball's hit down the line. Dottle has time. Going to be a little bit of pressure. Goes through her. And puts it in the middle right over to Allen. Allen settles. Looks forward. Pulls back. Gets it over to Vanderwill. Vanderwill turns. Loses it. Ball's played forward. Stone's going to have to cut it off. Just gets in between. Here's the ball hit forward and it's way out of bounds. I really like what the sophomore Doddle did down there. Yeah. She didn't panic. 
Nope. Took her time, turned around, assessed the situation, made a nice pass into the middle yep. there. Really good work out of the sophomore. She's got a good sized knee brace. She's banded, uh, got a elastic band on it just for a little extra support. Stone's taking a kick. Puts it up. And the John Glenn jump, as we call it, <laughs> from the player from KV. Faked. Stone has it. Left foot. Puts it up to uh, Dunlap. Dunlap looks. Leaves it off to Allen. Allen, through ball. And the Dragons just kind of waited to see what was going to transpire there. They weren't sure who was coming out. The goalkeeper didn't come out after it. Good turn out of Allen. Puts it in the middle with her left. Parker Boffman, number one, looks like she's lined up on the side to come in. Ball's cleared out. Midfield's kind of open. The defense is kind of staying back a little bit. Long ball played. Throw in by Stone. And it's going to be a sub. Boffman in. And... Burkholder's out. So the sophomore, five foot six inch Parker Boffman comes into the game for the first time. I think that's her first varsity experience. I think she played JV last year. Yep. So uh, we'll see what she can do here on the pitch. Stone relax, puts it forward all the way up to Baldwin. Baldwin takes a touch, gives it over, has it down the line, and makes a great touch forward. She's going to carry it. She's got pace. Here comes with the left in the middle. And here comes Parker Boffman. Good move by Kankakee Valley player number 28. It's a good little transition. Villapando. And Manikowski picks it up for the first time in the game. Played forward. Dunlap has it. Goes down the line. She's got her broke. Here it comes through the center. Here's a shot in, and it's off of the Kankakee Valley and caught by the keeper. Good cross, just was blocked. Couldn't get over to Baldwin. I like the teamwork we've seen out of the top two already, working well together. That's the second square pass there from Morgan Dunlap into Baldwin, and uh, they're going to connect on that here shortly. Yep. It's uh, right there. Just a little bit short there on the uh, connection. Samantha Stone with a throw in. In comes Katie Dean, and Baldwin's going to take a quick breather. Coach Stone's wanting to talk to her for a second. So Katie Dean, a five foot four inch senior, checks into the game for the Lady Dragons. All right, there's a foul. Ran into the back of her with her hands up. It's got to be on the end of that. A good try. Ball's thrown in. Allison Overmark cuts it off. Out of bounds again. Another quick throw. She has position on her. Off of a Laura Stone. Nope. Ball's in the middle. Vanderwill's on her. And Boffman's going after it. Played wide, and Dotto's already anticipated that and it ends up shielding the ball correctly. Nice and relaxed. And puts it, ooh, back in the middle, but Stone or Allison Overmeyer's there, puts it forward. Ball's going to skip. Played back, and Overmeyer has it. I'm going to take it wide. Yep. 
Yeah. <laughs> Great play. Dunlap or Baldwin going after. Dunlap moved it. Here comes Parker Boffman. Parker Boffman's going forward. Oh, and it hits a little bit hard, and they can knock it out, and it's going to go out of bounds and a throw in for the Dragons. Dunlap has it. Looks for it. Ball oh, was a great run. Ball in the middle. Oh, and she steps on the ball and she goes down. Uh, she stepped on it. First initial of the hit was before. All right, we got a couple subs on the line getting ready to come in. They're good. Okay, so <laughs> they're not going to let him in just yet. Nope, uh, not on a foul. You don't sub in on a foul. Stone tells Vanderwill to go on in and uh, take this nice little chipper. All right, let's see what they're going to do. Looks like they got a couple girls coming from the backside. See if Vanderwill can get it up in the air. Got uh, Morgan Dunlap back there, I see. Sydney Miller's back there. Nice ball in. Oh, handball. it's a handball and oh. it's not called, but it's – they're probably he was probably considering a ball to hand more than a handball. Dotto tries to run through it, and it's going to be a throw in for Kankakee. All right, we got some subs coming in. Uh, Baldwin's going to come back in for the Lady Dragons, and number two, Jessica Wheeler, a senior, comes in for the Lady Cougars. So you see them back here. You talk. You see how the Dragons are communicating. Stone tells him, hey, line up with me, brings Dotto back, Allison Overmeyer forward, so, and then Alora's way back. And then Lexi got the midfields in line, so Dean moved over to the side for her. Good communication so far out of the Dragons. And here's Baldwin once again making that run. Her tenacity has been a very, very vital point, part of her game. Allen turns it, gives it over to Stone. Stone relaxes. Gives us some space. Now they shift the ball over. Dottle going to switch field. Gives it a great ball to Parker Boffman. And it's blocked as she tries to cross it. And it's kicked out of bounds. Going to be Dragons throw in. Good shift out of the Dragons. See how they move side to side, and that creates havoc for a team. Burke Holder coming back in, and Vanderweel is coming out for a break. That shift there, it was a nice play again by Dottle, and... Uh I like what I've seen out of her, and then the sophomore Boffman's uh, played relatively well so far, too. Yep. Good throw in. Oh, ball. Dunlap doesn't take her time and totally mishits it. She could have dribbled in on that and dropped it at a 45. We watched Vinny do that how many times last year for uh, Vanderweel and Nifong. Take it to that down the end line and put it at a 45 back in front of the goal. <clears throat> Katie Dean has a throw in. Good throw. And here goes the Dragons again. Nice throw, hardened right to the point. Allen goes and receives it. Checks to the ball. Turns it. Stone comes back across the opposite way of the defense and then puts it forward. Here's Baldwin. She's going to put it back in the middle. Where are we at, Dragons? Where are we at, Dragons? Oh, my. Boffman goes across. That's a great ball up and an even better ball by Baldwin to put it back in the middle. I just talked about going to the end line, 45 back in the middle. Unfortunately, the Dragons just weren't there yet. That's tremendous play. I like what I'm seeing so far. Possession has definitely been one-sided so far. Overmeyer gets it. Puts it back to a Laura Stone. Laura Stone puts it up with the left. Baldwin comes to it. Kankakee ends up with it. Hits it down. A Laura Stone turns back. I like how they're going right back. Going against what the defense is doing. Oh, that's a good ball forward. Here comes Baldwin. And she's got her beat again. Puts it in the middle, and it's blocked, and it's going to be a corner kick. Great work again. That time it was Morgan Baldwin trying to get it into Morgan Dunlap, and uh, 
they're working well together. And uh, really, like you said, uh, I like the teamwork. You know, Joe was talking. He said it's going to be a very defensive-oriented game uh, for his team. And I tell you, one way to have a good defensive game, <laughs> don't let them get it on the other side of the field. That's yep. kind of where they're at right now. Burkholder, a little near post. Doesn't get enough on, but Baldwin's trying to make something happen. Hits it back. Here's a hit, and it's back across. Overmeyer, and it's going to be a throw in. She keeps it in play. Burkholder crosses over to Allen. Stone calls them off, and they split, and that's great work out of the team. Then she gets it over to Allen. Look at Allen needs to go forward. She's got space. Oh, she needs to take that, test that keeper. She had that open space. She had about six, eight yards in front of her with no one. Take a touch forward and go ahead and take a chance. Play on. Dunlap turns it. She's center, open. Center, get somebody in the middle. She chips it across. Dean comes across, and it's blocked off, and the keeper picks it up again. Another great ball out of the Dragons. It's only going to be a matter of time before they put one of those in. Well, they're definitely putting a Sydney lot of Miller pressure on the in. Lady Cougars for sure. Yep. This is only about the second or third time the ball's been across the midfield line. Dean has it. Sydney Miller's on the sub. I'm sure she's coming back in on her left-hand side. And it's going to be Dragons throw in. Here comes the subs. Sydney Miller checks back in for the Lady Dragons. And I'm trying to see the number for Kankakee Valley. She hasn't turned to where we can see her number. Number one. Number one is Natalie Fox. She's a senior for Kankakee Valley. Back into the game. Laura Stone clears it up. Out. And here comes Sydney Miller. She's taking it. Gets it, and it's up to Baldwin. Baldwin looks, comes across, gives it over to Burkholder. Back over to Overmeyer. Back out to Burkholder. Nice work. Puts it all the way across over to Dotto. Dotto uses the chest, settles it, chest to feet. And here comes Dotto running through. She's got wheels, and Kankakee Valley kicks it, and it's out of bounds. All right, got another sub on the line for the Lady Dragons. Peyton Betts coming in for Allison Overmeyer. All right. I know Betts' number because it was Tyler Betts last year. She took her brother's number to keep the family tradition, and all her mom said is, hey, I don't have to buy a new soccer ball. It's the <laughs> same name, same number. <laughs> Peyton wears number 14. She's a 5-foot, 2-inch sophomore checking into the game for the first time. She has the tenacity of a six-footer, though. And right there it is. She takes it away, and a great ball forward. Look at that. Right up to Sydney Moore on the line. She gets out, ran. Great position and wide. I like how they're using the space on the pitch. And she throws it. It's an illegal throw. And that's two for Kankakee Valley. And at this level in high school, you would not expect that. And here's a nice uh, play, and Baldwin's going to have to throw in. Kicks it over to Miller. Miller throws it in. Allen goes to it. It's off her chest. Lose. Ball comes out. Kankakee has it. Played forward, and Alora Stone's there. Stone hits it up in the air, settles it. Knocks it out, and she's going to carry the ball out. With her left, gets it right over to Boffman. And then Boffman goes around her, hits it forward, and that's a great leading ball, and the keeper's out just far enough to come out and get it before Dunlap can make a run. Good transition out of the Dragons. One, two, three, four basic touches, and you're already at the other end of the field with the goalkeeper having the ball. Looks like KV's just uh, a little bit of kick and run. They don't have a, a lot of uh, touch. At the moment, yeah, they're they're – Relying on pure speed because they have some fast players, but unfortunately for them, it's not worked very well. Fortunately for the Dragons, they are maintaining the quality pressure. Well, the Lady Dragons program has always been known for its ball control and uh, passing, and it, it really has continued, and I, I think they're doing a great job here so far. We're a little over halfway through the first half of this one. It's still nil-nil. Remember your terms, Andy. That's right, buddy. Nil-nil. So... 
Well, and you said half court, very beginning. So yeah, you know, had to get I, out I, of the basketball I, I, phase. I, I, it's all good. I didn't say a word. I loved it. You kept going. <laughs> I corrected myself. You betcha. I think I said mid court, so I was halfway right. Yeah. <laughs> halfway right. There you go. Stone stops, takes it. She's going to carry it up. And they block it. And they block it again. And that's a good ball by Betts. Puts it up, and Dunlap gets it, kicks it over. Allen has it. Sees it forward. A little too direct right now. They're kind of covering the center for us. Good settle on the chest, and Samantha Stone has it. Gets muscled off the ball. Alora Stone has it. She needs to carry it, but she hits it forward and long, and now Dunlap, Baldwin's on a foot race, and she didn't have a step ahead. She ends up with it. She looks, and she turns it back towards the goal, and that's a great chance now. And she leaves, oh, and it's a through ball. Here's Morgan Dunlap, and oh. she hits it, and the keeper saves it, and that's a great play by both players. Great job there by the keeper for yep. uh, Kankakee Valley. That was almost in for Morgan Dunlap. Good ball from Baldwin. Great work. Jenna James. Look at Betts, quality settle, good touch right over to Boffman. Turns it. Drops it back to Dottle. Dottle's got one on her back. Turns her body, shields it correctly. Hits it. Betts gets it, turns it wide. Good play out of Betts. Look at the tenacity, I like it. Good battle on both players. Allen, Allen hits it. Burkholder. And Dunlap gets the ball. She goes after it, goes wide with the, and fakes, and it's going to be a throw in for the Dragons. And here comes three subs Hampton, Amani, and Vanderweel coming back in. And he's taking out Stone. All right, so some subs come into the game for the Lady Dragons. Let's see who all came in. Number 15. Amani. Amani came in. Amani Gonzalez. And, yep. Lauren Hampton and Lexi Vanderwill, all three in. All righty. Fourteen and a half minutes left here in the first half. Still no score on the board. Lady Dragons have the throw in. The ball's in, and Don Baldwin couldn't get to it. 24? 34 for the Kankakee Valley Cougars is coming in. Good settle out of Allen. Throw in for Kankakee. Mackenzie Cecil, a senior, checks in for the Lady Cougars. Baldwin has it. Gives it up to Dunlap. Dunlap. Here comes Baldwin. Comes crossed. Good ball forward, and Dottle steps forward and gets it broke up. A nice ball wide out of Kankakee, and Amani comes by, gets the ball. Good tackle. She carries it. Stone's coming right back in. Probably going to switch positions. Betts with a great ball forward. Nice drop out of Dunlap. Here's a sub. And 
Stone coming in midfield, and well, Coach Joe's recognized. Coach Joe's recognized that they haven't had the ball down on defense, so he's putting Stone at midfield and putting uh, Lauren Hampton in her spot. Got an update from Warsaw last here. It looks like 2-0 uh, so far. That's not too bad. And the text I have is, I don't think Chino has touched the ball, but two times. <laughs> <laughs> so they're keeping it away from Chino. I don't know if that means that they're he's not able to get to it or they're just out running him or what the situation is. Well, that's a very young squad that uh, Coach Vanderwill has. Oh, yes, has. he does. Uh, 11, yes. 11 seniors graduated last year. And one returning sometime starter senior. Stone chips it with the left, and it's just wide. Yeah, very small senior class and this year. And uh, four, I think, starters returning. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to take some time. And, of course, you oh, yeah. start off the season against Warsaw. Yeah, they start. You know, they're only the biggest well, school in the area. <laughs> Argus always had a boys side that the first three games were the toughest almost the entire season because he always had Goshen and then Warsaw and then CMA at times. You know, those are all huge teams, huge schools, and uh, they were great competition for the Dragons. Good work out of Monty. She, they got the throw in anyways, but it's about 10 yards back further than what it would have been, so it's good work out of her. Ball's loose. Kicks it across. And Baldwin with great hustle back, and she's going after the ball. And they are, there it is, there's the foul, and they had them tangled up. That's going to be on number 43, Carmen Nowak. Well, this is her distance. Let's see what she does. We'll see what Coach Joe tells her. It's an iffy situation. Sometimes they're gorgeous, and sometimes they're just way too far. And that one's off the wide. Huh. It's got to be on frame. Yeah, it didn't have much of a shot. It was about two frames wide to the right. About like uh, Norwood from the Buffalo Bills, I believe. But uh, got about 10 minutes left here in the first half of action. Still no score. Well, I tell you what, it's been dominated for the most by the Dragons, but it's the first game of the season, first game, true game, besides a scrimmage here or there or, a, you know, a little jamboree type deal. So, you know, you're going to be working some bugs out and communication and so on and so forth, but I am thoroughly impressed so far with what I've seen out of the Dragons. There's a long chip, and the Laura Stone's back, and Dutch touches forward. Here comes Dottle, going to run through it. And... He's letting her know that that's mine, and here goes the ball up to Amani. Amani goes up, and here comes Amani. She's going to cross it first touch, and it's blocked, and it's going to be a throw-in. Good defensive wow, play. Wow, she's got some deceptive speed. Who? Amani. <laughs> oh, wow, I wasn't expecting that. She just ran past those two girls right there to get that ball. Well, she's never really been known for her blazing speed, but she has been doing extras. She did play some basketball. She's really worked hard to get back to where she wanted to be. And Dottle puts in a great shift on right back, and Allison Overmeyer comes in to give her a break. Dunlap has it. Nice ball. Gives herself a little bicycle pass. Here's a ball in the middle, and there it is, and it's just off. No one can get on it. Stone hits it back in, and it's a goal by Stone. Hits it with her left. Nice work by the Lady Dragons, and the first goal of the season scored by Samantha Stone. Puts the Lady Dragons up with 9.18 left to go in the first half, 1-0. To be honest, I don't know how she hooked her foot far enough to curl it back. It was almost parallel on the side. Great hit. Tons of excellent effort out of the entire squad. Great work out of Dunlap to get that opportunity to put it across the middle like that, and Stone finishes it. Well, we uh, we talked about it. We knew, you know, they've, they've been flirting around that area right in front of the box, and... Uh, we said it was just a matter of time before something happens, and you talked about uh, Coach Stone moving Sam up yep. and uh, pays dividends right there with a the goal. All right. Well, Dragons are – you notice when the ball goes back, the five or six already across that midfield line, applying that pressure. And Stone, even though she's to midfield, hustles all the way back, knocks it out so we can uh, set up our defense. 
Leans down to tire shoe. And that's a nice hit out by Hampton. Stone hits it up. It's hit right back. Oh, and that's a good ball. And Manikowski comes out relaxed and calls it. Here's her punt. Nice and wide. Amani's open. She's going to head it. Nice. Uses her chest. Settles it. They take it away. And it's out of bounds. Throw in for the Dragons. Nice job changing directions of the field there by the Lady Dragons. You see a lot of times after a team scores, the other team puts a lot of pressure on the uh, defense, and KV was starting to do that a little bit, but uh, the Dragons have switched it back to their offensive end. Stone's got a shot. And that's just a little long. That yeah, would have been a great field goal from about 35, <laughs> but uh, no good in soccer. Well, you know, she's going to let them know that, hey, just got to settle down a bit. It's a good idea, but... Got to relax, and look how the Dragons shift. You haven't seen that lately out of the teams, but they're really shifting to the side, keeping it compact, owning it. The ball's low, and Baldwin with a great touch forward. She's going to charge the keeper. She's got it, and she's going to get it, and puts it in, and a great, excellent hustle out of Morgan Baldwin, a great individual effort. Well, Baldwin makes it 2 nothing, and uh, 7.25 left, so just within uh, – Less than two minutes, the Lady Dragons get their second goal on the board. And excellent, like you said, excellent job there by Morgan Baldwin. I tell you, she's come off in a tremendous, tremendous travel season with us uh, on AFC, and she was absolutely outstanding. And she uh, really, we expected big things out of her, and she's not disappointing so far. We're loving the hustle. She's always had it, but... This year, she's really matured, and she has settled down. And, man, was that a great play. I see one thing that I've seen out of her so far that I'm not saying she didn't have it before, but she is fighting with the other team. She's tougher than nails right yep. now, and she's not afraid of the contact. So, got to like it. Dragon's up, too, now. Ball's played in the middle. Dunlap looking to fight, and they're going to call it. Dra yeah, Morgan got her arm. A little uh, bit tenacity. Out. You know. A little bit of a hook. You know what? We haven't seen some of that aggressive, physical, all-out play, and I like to see them. The girls know if they want to play the next level, they better get used to it because it's going to be tough. Laura Stone gets tackled away. They hit it across, and here comes Betts. Takes it wide. Pressure's on. Not using her arms. Very good. Now she's going to take it and hits it forward. I tell you what, I really like Peyton Betts tonight. She's doing very well. Dragons as a whole are doing great. You can see some individual effort. You can really see them wanting to do what they haven't been in a while. is just that fight. Ball's loose. Battled. Hits it up. And now Dunlap has it. She's got her. Turns it back. Stone makes a run. Gives it up to Stone. Stone's going to go right back to her. It's a great give and go. Dunlap looks. Shot far oh, post, and it's oh. just wide. But that's a great idea. Good give and go. You can see how they work together. You can see that nice little transition. And that's it right there. Stone comes over. They get five and say, hey, good work, guys. Let's just do it again. The only thing I could have seen there may be another touch out of Morgan. Yeah, you could have. she could have taken it in. She had yeah. some room. Get that goalie to commit. That's right. the biggest thing. You make them commit one way or the other, then you have an option, square ball, or you just slot it near post. You put it wide. Now Baldwin's, or Dunlap's going back at it again. This is going to be a long battle. I like what I've seen out of the Morgans. Both yeah. of them are fighting uh, tooth and nail right now, and it, it's paying off. Uh, Lady Dragons are up 2 nothing. I, I think uh, most of the 50-50 balls have been won by the Lady Dragons. Yeah. Oh, Unfortunately, she tried to Dutch touch, and uh, 
went out of bounds, throw in, and she uses her chest. Now they're fighting a the handball, and it's going to be a free kick for Kankakee Valley. They get over Meyer with a handball. Big ball in, and Stone off the chest, runs through, kicks it up, and gives it over to Baldwin. Baldwin looks. She's got time and room. Oh, she had a heavy touch. She stays with it, and she's going to keep it. She's going to go around her because she's quicker. Here we go. Turns back, cross with the left, and Dottle can't get to it. But look at her come all the way back and steal it again. And it's out of bounds, throw in for the Dragons. Great hustle out of Baldwin. And here's another sub. Katie Dean in and Dunlap out. Senior Katie Dean getting minutes. I really like what I'm seeing out of Morgan Baldwin. Like you said, she doesn't give up on it. She come back and she got the ball back and uh, she's impressed me right now. Oh, so what far. a fake. Chips it over. Burkholder, oh, it gets broke up. Ball's loose. Broke up. Alora Stone runs through it. Samantha Stone stays back and tells Alora Stone to go on up. Dean going to be thrown in for the Kankakee Valley. And Burkholder not wasting any time. Here comes the sub. Vanderwheel in. So Lexi and, comes, and there's and a break. Yep. Baldwin take a break. Well-earned, well-deserved break for Morgan Baldwin. Playing excellent so far for the Lady Dragons. I like what Coach Stone's doing. It's a hot, muggy night here. He's getting a lot of subs in the game. And no, the it's, great it's thing, nice out. It's the just great muggy thing, in here. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the great thing is it's uh, the, the subs are coming in and they're doing an excellent job yep. for him. So Samantha have uh, Alora and Samantha have swapped positions. She says, you go up and run for a bit, and Alora gets called for the foul. And it's hit. And they wait, and Stone's got it. She's going to take it wide. Looks with her left and chips it right up. Great ball up. Dean's going to the corner. Dean's going to hit it, and it's going to be out of bounds. Throw in for the Dragons. Burkholder. Good throw. Slipped. Off the head. Fan wheel. And Dottle's going to intercept that pass. Oh, and a heavy touch, unfortunately. She had room. Hampton. Wheels goes after it, uses her body correctly. Lauren Hampton using her body correctly. I like it. Runs by Betts. Betts comes across. Stone clears it out. Gives it over to Allen. Allen back to Betts. Nope. Who's over there? Burkholder. Burkholder has it. One minute remaining in the half. Now Betts steps forward. Pressure's on. And out of bounds, and uh, Kankakee has not had an answer for the pressure the Dragons have been putting on them. Oh, Allen's <laughs> getting a little upset. She's got an extra hit there at the end. Ball's loose in the middle. Betts has it. Clears it out. Up right to Burkholder. To Stone. Back up to Dean. And it's going to be Dragons. Oh, And we got some rowdy fans. <laughs> We're loving it. 10, 9, 8, 7, Ball's up in six, the middle. There's a five, handball. Four, and that's three, not going to be played. Going to be out of time, and they're going to take a break. All right, that's going to do it for the first half of action here from Eugene Snyder Field. The Lady Dragons lead the Lady Cougars from Kankakee Valley. To score is 2-0 at the half. We're going to take a break here. We're going to come back with some uh, halftime stats and uh, information. But uh, you're watching RTC4.com. Lady Dragons yeah. Soccer here, 2017 uh, kickoff. So we'll be back here in just a few minutes. 
There's no better time than right now to buy or refinance a home, and there's no better place to go for a mortgage loan than First Federal Savings Bank. Mortgage interest rates are still incredibly low, so now's the perfect time to talk with one of our loan experts. We offer a variety of mortgage loans, from conventional loans to FHA and USDA subsidized loans. We don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Are you in pain from an injury or arthritis? What if there was a place that could meet all of your orthopedic needs? A place with some of the best orthopedic doctors and staff in the Midwest. A place where you're treated as a person instead of a patient. What if that place weren't in Chicago or Indianapolis? There is such a place. Rochester Orthopedics, your regional orthopedic specialist. When you're looking for comfort and relief, remember, trust the board certified and fellowship trained surgeons at Rochester Orthopedics. All this month, you can save big during Shepherd Chevrolet's Summer Drive event, where prices have been slashed to 20% below MSRP on 2017 Cruise, Impala, and Malibu LT Edition. How about a lower rate instead? Take 0% APR for 72 months. The choice is yours during this inventory clearance event, going on right now at Shepherd Chevrolet Buick in Rochester, where they trade your way. Online at shepherdsrochester.com. Farming is a way of life for many of our Hoosier families. Protect all of your farming assets with coverage from Evans Agency in Rochester. They offer farm liability, farm personal property, and farm outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your coverage needs. Judy Evans and her staff have been serving the insurance needs of this community for over a decade. Let Judy help you protect your farm, your life, your business, and all of your possessions. Evans Agency, online at EvansAgencyRochester.com. Touchdown from every game, every Sunday afternoon. Don't miss a touchdown with Red Zone from NFL Network and RTC Fiber Communications. Call today to get yourself set up for all the action. Protect yourself from personal attack on campus, in the home, at the mall, or wherever you are. Blue Dragon Taekwondo in Rochester is offering a self-defense boot camp so that you have the basic skills to protect yourself in an attack. Blue Dragon is the area's leading martial arts facility. Master Instructor Dave Colger and his team welcome new participants and those seeking to learn the basic self-defense techniques. Contact Blue Dragon Taekwondo today to learn more about this exciting self-defense boot camp. RTC Fiber Communications is now serving the community of Argus. Now you can enjoy the incredibly fast speed and reliability of fiber internet. Stream movies, surf the web, or watch your favorite local videos on RTC4.com. All from RTC Fiber Communications, now serving Argus. Give RTC a call today or check us out online at www.rtc1.com. Now through August 14th, Shepherd Chevrolet Buick in Rochester is offering 20% below MSRP or 0% for 72 months on all new 2017 Chevy Trax and Sonic LTs in stock. That's thousands in savings just waiting for you to grab during the 2017 Chevy Summer Drive event going on right now at Shepherd Chevrolet Buick in Rochester where they trade your way. Online at shepherdsrochester.com. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner & Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions online at EvansAgencyRochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century online at RTC1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. 
trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. All right, welcome back here to Eugene Snyder Field. The Lady Dragons are leading at the half, two to nil. Great first half of action out of the Lady Dragons. I really like what I've seen so far. They had unofficially six shots on goal. Uh, the first goal came from the foot of Samantha Stone with 9.18 left. Gave them a one nil lead. And then off of some great work by Morgan Baldwin, at the 7.25 mark, gave them a 2-0 lead. So uh, first half of action in the books for the Lady Dragons. Uh, Coach Stone uh, really has got to be happy. No shots on goal for the Lady Cougars. Uh, doing a really good job uh, just up until the point of the first goal. Right after the first goal, the... Uh, Lady Cougars barely had the ball on their offensive end. So um, great job of defense. Uh, I talked to Andy a little bit. You know, I said that uh, you keep them on your offensive end, then they're not going to be able to score. So the Lady Dragons are showing a great tenacity, great toughness. Uh, we've seen a lot of girls come in, uh, a couple of girls that have played very, very well. Of course, Sam Stone, Morgan Baldwin. Uh, Morgan Dunlap has played awesome. Uh, we also saw some good work out of uh, Taylor Dowdle and uh, Amani Gonzalez and Peyton Betts, the sophomores uh, coming in and, and putting in some good minutes for the Lady Dragons. So uh, good balance overall, uh, starting off with the seniors, but uh, some good work from the juniors and uh, some sophomores as well. So I really like what I've seen so far. We're going to just take a break and let you uh, – Enjoy the action on the field. We got about two and a half minutes before the start of the game, and uh, we'll get back with you here as soon as the second half of action gets underway.
All right, here we go, getting set to go for the second half of action. Lady Dragons are up 2-0. And they're going to have first touch here starting the second half. They're going to be going from left to right to left. Lady Cougars going from left to right on your screen. Exit, stage right even. Shanks. Well, she wanted to go longer and it just uh, rolled off her foot the wrong way. That's a good nutmeg pass. All right, ball's in. Did forget yeah. to mention the JV uh, won the first game yep. of the uh, evening, this 4-3. Uh, to three. Yep, first game of their uh, season also, and they uh, come out with a victory. Hard-fought battle for a long time. There's some good work by Allison Overmeyer, and uh, she's going to get the foul call on Kankakee Valley. Some good uh, body work that time by Overmeyer. Well, she had possession, so she uh, defended it. Somebody, uh, or they don't always like that, but that's when you have it, you have the right to defend it. So, ball's down, and it's going to be throw in or kick for Kankakee, a foul on Dunlap, uh, Baldwin, sorry. Vanderbilt <laughs> settles it, runs through, and it gets taken away. Stone knocks it back forward. Allen. Here we go. Now we're having a whistle festival. Mr. Alcorn's going to have to change it to 11 o'clock <laughs> for the lights and set 10.30. <laughs> uh, Getting just a little bit chippy here to start yeah, the second half. A little bit of sloppy, a little rusty. Some nerves and frustrations all in one. Long ball from Stone. And off of Miller. Kankakee Valley gets it. Ball's forward. Stone's going to step up to take it. A little hard on the hit. And Laura Stone's going to clear out the Kankakee Valley. Hits it back in. And Manikowski lets it roll out. Going to touch it for probably the second time of the Third. night. Third? Yeah, she got two touches in the first half. And Stone's going back to take the goal kick. Manikowski, great keeper, but not most uh, massive of leg strength from the ground. And Stone clears midfield. And there's Baldwin, and she's on goal. Look at her. She's going to it. She's got to finish, and she does. And it's a beautiful goal. Assist by Stone from the goal kick. And a great finish out of Baldwin. Two goals for her tonight. 37, 23 left to go in totally the second Totally relaxed. Half. Doesn't just kill it, just waits and just gets her in position and then just finishes it. What a great play. You know, the one thing I think I've seen a little <laughs> different from Morgan, uh, I think she would have probably took that shot like maybe one touch sooner last year. Last year, she's just matured so well. Yeah. She's becoming such a finisher, just smart play. Yep, she took that extra touch, got the goalie kind of to commit a little bit, and then shot it right off to the right side of her. And uh, she's got two goals on the night. Lady Dragons are up 3-0 now. Ball's forward again. And up steps Allison Overmeyer. Good touch with her left. Goes after the ball. Going to apply the pressure. Doddle's got, got plenty of wheels to catch up with it. Drops it back to her keeper, and they clear it up and right back into play to a Laura Stone. Then she goes forward, and there's a late hit. And it's a switch of fields, and it's not got enough strength. Allen blocks it, and Baldwin takes it away. Here she goes. Leads up Dunlap, and it's a little hard. Good effort. The teamwork up front has just been phenomenal tonight. Yeah, had her arms up. And it's going to be played out of bounds. Dragons throw in. Looks like the Dragon team's 
Oh, yeah, there's a foul, and that's the same girl. Um, now it looks like uh, Stone's going to set it up. It might go wide for Dunlap. Let's see. Dunlap's moving to the wide part. She's going to go in at an angle. Hits it near post to Dun Baldwin. Headed forward by Stone. Now it's cleared out. Samantha Stone, Dutch touches wide right over to Burkholder. Good movement out of the team. Vanderweel chips it forward. Good set out of Burkholder. Back in the middle to Vanderweel. Kankakee Valley looking to shield it off. Clears it over in the center, and it's knocked up. Goes over to Doddle. I think 25 is probably one foul away on the Kankakee Valley. About one foul away, a hard challenge away from a yellow card. Vanderwill loses it. Battles for it. Creates it, and it goes to throw in for Kankakee. Did you ever get a final score from uh, Warsaw? I know the boys Argus, lost. No, I don't have a final. just don't know what the... No. I don't know what the score was, but they were down two or three nil at one time. I'm not sure where it ended up. Young squad battling, working hard. <clears throat> Ball forward. Stones back. Gets it. Hits it up the line. It's a laser. Right there goes to Baldwin. And now she sees Dunlap. Baldwin's going to take the wide, and Dunlap gets the ball. Oh, that's a great fake. Here comes a chip in the middle. There's Baldwin just misses, and now Allen's going after it. Fakes, pulls, hits it over. Alora Stone settles, takes a touch, battles for it, keeps it up, goes for it, and loses it. Here comes Vanderwill with a great block. Now Dunlap has it, and she gets her on the outstep again. Here's the little shot, and it's wide over the goal just above it. Nice idea from the Dragons. Lauren Hampton's coming in, and Vanderbilt's going out. She's going in front of Samantha Stone, and Laura Stone's going to midfield for Vanderbilt. Good play out of Kankakee. <clears throat> and it's out of bounds. Throw in for Van Overmeyer. Gives it to Laura Stone. She's going to... Fake, turns, and goes right around him. Has two, goes through him. Goes back to Allen. Allen looks, makes a good touch wide to Dottle. Dottle, a little heavy on that touch going forward. She's going to keep it. Gives it up to Baldwin, or Dunlap. Fakes, left foot, and it's in the goal underneath the keeper. Nice effort there. Left footer from Morgan Dunlap with 32-41 left. Makes the score. 4-0 in favor of the Lady Dragons. Well, it's uh, just a lot of good quality work from the team. Overmeyer throws it in. Stone takes a couple players on, gets it back, goes over to Allen. She switches field to Dotto. Dotto goes up, feeds it over to Dunlap, and she makes a move or two, hits about three touches, and then gets a nice shot with her left. It's unassisted since uh, she had multiple touches. Here's Baldwin, battles. They back it up in the middle to a Laura Stone. Foul on Stone. And Laura Stone picks up the foul. Gonna be free kick for Kankakee Valley. Approaching the 30 minute mark here in the uh, game. Settled by Stone in the middle. Thought about it. I thought she was going to do the long volley shot, but feeds it wide to Burkholder. And it's out of bounds. Throw in for the Dragons. 
Ball's in the middle, and it's cleared out. Hampton has it, loses it. Good tackle out of Kankakee Valley. Turns it over to Allen. Allen plays it back to Donald Smart. Now it goes wide. Alora Stone has it. Great tackle out of Donald Allen with a great cut. Brings it in, cross. Over to Baldwin, to Miller. Allen settles, or sorry, Hampton. Stone has it, takes it wide, and hits it up with the left, right to Miller. Here goes Miller, give him a good cross with her left. Curls it in. Oh and, oh, and it's just off. Great ball in. And she saves it, and she's going to hustle back in and gives the ball back over to Allen. Great work out of Sidney Miller. Stone, back over to Allen. Baldwin turns. She's taking off the ball, and there's going to be a free kick. She's not ready. Oh, take it quick. The goalkeeper wasn't ready. Now give it a nice soft hit. That was about the exact same spot we saw uh, Courtney. Courtney take that last shot year on CC, and I told him that's a great learning lesson as a goalkeeper. Never turn your back to the ball because Courtney Dunlap made her pay. Nice and easy, oh, and that's way off. Well, Sam's nice and easy. Apparently, has to go for well, midfield. Well, no, she just was. She wasn't trying to drive it. She was just trying to chip it. I've done that before, trying to chip it onto the green, and ends up <laughs> going in the next fairway. That's uh, <laughs> never fun. Yeah, she's not happy with that, but. Balls in. Gonzalez and Boffman come back in for the Lady Dragons. She loses it. Laura Stone battles. Gets outran. Stone has it. Oh, a nice little move and goes around her. And now she's carrying it with pace. She's got two or three. And then she gives a great ball up to Doddle. Nope, to Burkholder. Here comes Kankakee Valley coming down the middle. Hits it up. And Manikowski calls it with ease, picks it up nice and relaxed, and drills it. Look at that hit out of Manikowski across the midfield. Baldwin has it. Baldwin bounces off two players, passes it square to Stone. Stone chips it, and it's way out off to the side. Twenty-seven and a half minutes left to go here in the game. It's a four-nil Argus lead over the Lady Cougars from Kankakee Valley High School. Here's the kick. Tap back. Baldwin's battling. Goes all the way across the side of the pitch. Hits it over wide to Amani. She makes it in across the center, and here comes a shot. Oh, <laughs> Allen uses her left. What's she thinking? She's like, wait a sec. I could have shot with my right. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. She's tried her opposite foot. That's good stuff. But she was thinking, you could tell that she looked like, oh, I could have just hit that with my right. But great work. Good effort. Good ball in the middle from Amani. You know, it's just little plays like that. You know, mm -hmm. it didn't go in the goal, but they're working so well together. Yeah. They're just... They're communicating, they're passing. Uh, it's 
tremendous tonight. Well, it's it's really been Lexi and uh, Allen in the middle just controlling the game. And then whenever they move up stone or stone to help out, it just really shifts it into a next gear. Look at Allen here. Just distribute it. And that's a good ball. Stone couldn't get to the end of it. But the core of your team has to start with quality and possession. And I tell you what, Allen's first touch is just tremendous. And she really has done well. She did a good season for us in travel. She had an injury and she recovered from it. And just as now you can see the benefits of everything she's done so far here in this uh, high school season already. Well, Lexi. It helps. Yeah. It hurts, <laughs> but it helps because you always got to listen to critic dad, the coach. You know, Samantha's had to grow up with it for years, and, you know, there's times where she gets frustrated. But when you see them play and you see how they play and you see how they use their brains more than just their feet, then you can see that it, it's, it's really bled through. You know what it's like. You've coached your daughters in basketball and softball and stuff in the past. So. It's, every, uh, it's all uh, part of it. You know, every once in a while you, you say 35 words and maybe one will sink in every once in a while, and that's <laughs> that's when things really uh, tend to yeah. make yeah. a difference. So. Oh, and here comes uh, Kankakee Valley. Hits it forward. Hits it off the back of her legs. Sits, drops it back, and then... Great work out of Doddle. And then she hits it right up, and Dean's going to get it. Dean with a great turn and sees the wide open player on the wide, gives it over to Stone, just unfortunate on the settle. But that was a smart play out of Katie Dean. Great job. Changed the field and uh, just couldn't quite handle that. Alora was trying to get that going. You can see the the you know the technique and stuff. Dean shielding correctly and stuff will come from some a lot of travel soccer years, and then she had a great junior high seasons, and uh, you know it just shows through that it, that stuff just sticks with the smart players. You know, balls in the middle. Here it comes down. Here comes Kankakee Valley applying a little pressure, and then Stone's going to step up, fakes, and is going to take it around him. Nice and relaxed, and goes to go around the next one, and. And feeds it right over to Laura Stone. She's going to give her a little chip. And here's allen has got all kinds of time. Chest. And she drops it to Stone. Stone shoots with the left. And it's going to be saved. Shot on frame. Good ball. Good teamwork all the way around. Well, Katie Dean's another one, you know, much like Lexi. You know, she's put her time in. She's played. Ooh. It's a tough shot from uh, Sam right off of the uh, long throw. Look at a long throw, and here comes another throw in for the Dragons, and Stone's going to tie her shoe, and then here comes a sub for the Dragons. I can't see who's over there, and it's Lexi Vanderwill cruising in. And the official checking on the player, number one, who got a, got a ball on the chops a little bit. Throw in from Boffman. Kankakee Valley comes, and here's Amani. And it puts it right off the defender, and it's going to be drag and throw in. See Vanderwell hits it up, and it's out of bounds. Here comes Kankakee Valley. Plays it back. Comes across, switching the fields. Very good out of Kankakee. Pass isn't there, but they're going to get it through. Here comes Katie Dean, working the line. Doddle running and knocks it out of bounds off of Kankakee. Very smart play, and here comes Subs. And Stone comes out, and Stone goes in. 
Burkholder in and Allen out. Very good out of the Dragons. Smart play, 21 minutes left. Getting the girls a break. Kankakee Valley. Amani's going after it. Apply the pressure. So uh, the only thing I see they could honestly work on a little bit is just receiving the ball or, or the touch at a sprint because they get a little bit heavy. But, you know, that's, that's a common thing when you're running dead on. And look at Katie Dean going to goal. Steps across. Puts the ball in the middle. And that's a great ball in. And she shielded off and can't get to it. Dunlap was trying. Great ball out of Dean. And here comes Kankakee, Hampton. Alora Stone hits it wide, relaxes, and puts it up. And Amani's coming after it. Hampton has it. Puts it right back to Amani. Oh, and she's tired. <laughs> Misstep. Katie Dean steps, receives, and intercepts the ball. And Dunlap's pressuring him backwards. Here comes Dunlap. Dunlap's looking in the middle. Takes a shot, and it's saved off the keeper. And Katie Dean following the shot was there in case it popped out. Very good work out of her. Great shot by Dunlap. And it's over Dottle's head, and here comes Laura Stone, and she gets played past. Number one's going after it from Kankakee, and Stone's hustling back, and so does Dottle. And Dottle. Gets the ball. Stone runs her off, and Dotto receives the ball. Vanderbilt has it in the middle. Oh, it's taken away. Hampton. It's loose again in front. Hampton hit her, and she went down. Free kick in a good area for Kankakee. Might have to test Manikowski. She looks a little in the goal, but she makes up for it in heart and brains. Here's a shot. It's on frame, and Manikowski loose, and she's going after it. Picks it up. And here's the long punt. Manikowski across midfield, bouncing over. Dunlap runs through it, carries the ball. Dunlap's got her, going around her. And there's a shot, and it's a goal by Dunlap. Morgan and Katie Dunlap. Dean, look at Katie Dean. Katie Dean almost ran into the goal because she's following that shot, and that's just great work. And Dunlap, with a great individual effort, goes around two and puts it in the goal. Tremendous, tremendous play out of the Dragons again. Morgan Dunlap gets her second goal of the second half, makes it a 5-0 lead for the Lady Dragons with 18-16 left to go here in the game. Some mass substitutions from both sides. Got some Lady Dragons coming back into the game. Should be. Burgers, number nine, Sydney Miller. Number 17, Allison Overmeyer. Number 18, Samantha Stone. And number 22, Morgan Goldman. I told him once, and he learned it. He's doing it the whole time. Oh, okay. This guy's sharp. He's doing it. I like it. All right, we're back in action here. We're approaching 18 minutes left to go in the game. Entertaining. All right, you back? Yeah, I'm back. Okay. We were discussing a few things. We're 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 getting it all worked out here. Five nil for the Dragons. So we got a Laura Stone in the back, Samantha in the stopper position, Doddle and is that Betts again? She instantly turns, knows that it's a long one and coming back. 
been very impressed with the team as a whole. Very good work out of everyone. Their toughness, their tenacity, just like you, what you said, down on that last goal from Morgan with uh, Katie Dean. Yeah, all the way in the goal, going to get that reception, going to tap in that block if it happened. How many times last year did we see the goalie mishandle a play and nobody was there? Yeah, How too many, many too many, too many. Oh, Dotto. Uh, yeah, that was <laughs> – uh, Shot a little wide there by KV. Yep. A little bit of miscommunication there from uh, Laura Dotto Stone and, and Dowdle. But, yeah, uh, but that's all right. I like to keep things interesting. Get a little blood flow in there for Abby. Yeah. Like I told you, she doesn't want it. Uh, yeah, but she wants to see some action too. You know, she no, just she, I imagine uh, you know, she wouldn't mind being bored for a lot of games. It's not going to hurt her feelings. Laura Stone, and here's the ball. And Betts knocks it out of bounds. Good play out of uh, Peyton Betts. Is, uh, we don't want them to score because uh, Coach Joe would not be happy if they if they would do a uh, lot of cheesy goal in after dominating so far like they have tonight. They've only had two shots Mm -hmm. on goal the whole night so yeah you wouldn't uh you know especially when uh, coach stone talks about his defense nice ball in gets a touch on it dotto gonna clear it out with her left and unfortunately right to kankakee valley she dribbles back into trouble and here comes morgan baldwin from the mids and now she has it and there's gonna be a dragon throw in and here's the substitution Brooklyn Thomas comes into the game. I think that's her first time in, isn't it? Yep. And out comes. There goes Morgan Baldwin. Baldwin. So Thomas is a uh, five foot two inch senior for the Lady Dragons. Fifteen minutes left in the game. Sydney Miller with the throw in. Doddle. Oh, a miscommunication again. She went to pass it back to Smith, uh, Sydney Miller. Stone clears it out. Dean settles, looks, feeds it right to her. <laughs> you got to go after that. She can't hold up. Lexi takes the bump, still gets to play up the field. Oi, that is an ugly throw. Is that even legal? I didn't no, know no, it wasn't iffy. really. Oh, my word. She fell down on her own. And here goes Katie Dean again, pine pressure. Dottle hits the ball. It's in the air. Laura Stone. Bounced into her arm. Hits it up quick. Dean. Gets it again. Drops it back. Now that's back in the center. Here it goes off the player. Now Dean's going wide with the run. Hits it in the middle, and that's a great leading ball. And she can't get there in time. And here comes the subs. Here's three subs. Taylor Dottle. Yep. Hampton is in. Gabby Allen. Ball's loose in the middle. Puts it back in the center. Brooklyn Thomas looks, tries. Miller misses. Just about had a chance to get a shot. And here comes the Dragons back. And great hustle out of Dunlap. Handball again, but they don't call it this time. Hampton has it, puts it in the middle. Here comes Vanderwill. Vanderwill looks, goes right back over to Dunlap. Dunlap up forward. Here comes Sidney Miller. Sidney Miller going to cross it. 
Cuts in the, oh, and then she nutmegs her and can't get to it. Ball's in. Thomas. Miller crosses, and it's blocked, and it's going to be a throw-in. Dragons. Amani's coming in. And Katie Dean going out. Katie Dean with great minutes. Outstanding out of number four. Parker Boffman up, lined up. Miller throws it in. Vanderwill. And it's off of Vanderwill. Back out of bounds. Off of Dunlap. Throw in for Kankakee Valley. Well, overall, this isn't one of the best Kankakee Valley teams by any means, but they're not bad. But, uh, you know, the Dragons are playing very well. And I've noticed that the level of physicality is a little bit less out of Kankakee Valley, what they're traditionally known for. <laughs> Well, it's a little bit less for that, but uh, I think our physicality is Stepped really, up just a little bit, yeah. yeah. Miller gets a great ball from Dunlap, and she misses, and it's going to be knock forward and a throw in. Parker Boffman's coming in, and Sidney Miller's taking a break. Sidney Miller has a wicked left. It curls the ball so well. Throw in. Dunlap drops it off, and it's Barker or Boffman comes back across and takes it away. Looks, and she loses it. Alora Stone kicks it forward. Here comes Brooklyn. Plays the ball out. Headed over Dunlap. Knock forward. Alora Stone goes to it. Samantha Stone ran by to get in position. Here's a long hit to nowhere, and I don't know if that's going to go out or not. Doesn't look like it has enough strength to go out of bounds, and it's still in the field of play. And Betts and Kankakee Valley race to it. And the Laura Stone clears it out. You know, Samantha didn't go too aggressive. She kept her body between the ball and the goal to where they, she turns it. Teammate comes out, clears it. Now Allen has it again in the mid, puts it right over to Dunlap. Dunlap looks, goes around, cuts back, hits it forward, and it's uh, too forward, too direct. And she's, Coach Stone's telling her, hit it wide, spread the field, then we'll put it back in the middle. Yeah, she had Amani out there to her yep. right and uh, just she, a little yeah. bit too direct to the goal. Yep. Oh, and that's a great pass, threading it through, but it's going to be taken away by Betts. Betts is going up the line, and she's not going to stop. She's like, if you give me the room, I'm going to take it. And unfortunately, it goes out of bounds. <clears throat> Stone gets a touch on it. Here comes Lauren Hampton. Lauren's too quick. She's got wheels. Muscled off. And she's still going to get to it. Out of bounds. And she gets hit down. And she's up. Throw in for Kankakee Valley. Left. Wide open in the middle. Dangerous place. Bounce. <laughs> They're debating on whether to call that a shot. Uh, yeah, or, chalk up another one. Yeah, we'll give them a shot. Manikowski touched it for the sixth time tonight. Good save. All right, so here comes Betts. And out comes Overmeyer and... Allison Overmeyer, out of the game, like I said. Getting Dowdle, a, I'm over Dowdle here. comes back in as well. Yep. 
Approaching the seven minute mark here in the second half of the game. Lady Dragons are up five nil. Know where you're on the field. Turn it back towards in. His throw in. Stone has it. Relaxes. Goes. And now another one. Left. Leads it up. Good ball to Dunlap. Can't quite get there. Dunlap's hustle. Going to get it back. Going to be a throw in. Great tenacity. Great effort. All the way around all night from the Dragons. Oh, and that's a good ball from Mason or Thomas. Puts it in. And no one's there. And Kankakee prevents the drop from Vanderweel to Allen. Dottle settles it. Hits it forward back in the center. Amani goes after it. She runs through it with her chest. Good. Gets knocked off the ball. And and the girl gets <laughs> she gets knocked down and their fans cheer. What's done is give away a free kick. It looked mm. like it was a little bit closer. Maybe. But this is actually, you don't want to be closer. This is a perfect position. Up there right on the 18 is too close to get it up over the wall and down. This should be a nice chip to this back corner post over here on this side. A easy shot for Vanderweel. She relaxes. Oh, and she tried to go under. And Stone comes up with the left, and she chips it, and it's oh. caught by the goalkeeper. That looked like it was on frame. It was close. It yeah. was on the, I think, just on the outside of the near post. But there was a nice little run on the left. Good ball all the way around from the team. Here they go again. Dottle runs through with the chest, puts it over to Stone. Stone relaxes, goes forward, looks, gives it right over to Allen. She was a little bit reactive. Yeah. Be a little quicker going at it. Ball's in. Good ball up forward by Kankakee Valley. Laura Stone knocks it forward. And the Kankakee splits him. And here comes the ball, and it's blocked by Hampton. Good hustle. Ball's loose. And Hampton going to play it wide. Loses it. Here's a cross in, and it's out of bounds. Goal kick by Stone. One of the two. <laughs> we'll see. As Samantha's getting it. And she's getting directions from Coach. Knuckles down, skips, and Kankakee comes away with it. Vanderbilt with the ball forward. Monty goes after it. Katie Dean's coming back in the game. And out comes Vanderbilt. <laughs> Coach Joe's telling her the whole far side of the goal is open on that free kick. <laughs> hmm. Lexi's got a nice little chipper. That's why he's telling her. Nice move. He brings it all the way across, changes the fields. Here comes Thomas. Dunlap gets the ball, and, oh, it turns it out of bounds. Good hustle. Laura Stone drills it up. Thomas has it, and here comes Amani. Ball going across. Pressure on a nice move from Kankakee Valley to bring it across. Gives it over to Dottle. Dottle back to Stone. Stone's going to carry it. Going to go around her. Puts the ball wide. Dean has it. Dean chops it back in the middle. Here comes Amani on run on. Gets there first. And here's a battle. Kankakee hits it out of bounds. Nope. Yep. Waiting for the flag from the AR Pets over in the corner. Boffman runs in, and the 27 
kind of stops running and bends over and having problem breathing or something. She's not feeling well. It's going to be Kankakee's throw in. Good settle out of Dunlap. And it's going to be out of bounds. Thrown in. Boffman. Handball. Bounced, unfortunately, unlucky bounce off her arm. All right, we're approaching a minute and a half left to go here in the game. Lady Dragons up 5 0. Ball's in. Nice slip. Here's a chance. And Manikowski with a great save. Great job by Abby getting out there and getting a hold of that ball. They had two girls there with a shot at that. Yep. And she just smothered the ball before they had any kind of chance to get a kickoff. And a great punt. And here comes Amani. Amani's on the wing. He's going after it. They pulled her out. Here's the ball. Kicks it out wide. Dottle goes through, gets it. Gets it over to Dunlap. Dunlap looks, fakes, turns back to her right. Just playing smart. There's only a minute left. Giving. And it's knocked out. Stone's going to settle. Got one coming behind her. Stone takes a long rip, and it's saved by the keeper. On frame and a great shot. Great save. Stop the clock. And she was hit from behind. Yep. Gets a yellow card. Yeah, she uh, she'll be all right. Natalie Fox, a senior for Kenke Valley, gets the yellow card. She has to go out. And uh, Stone is a little bit uh, slow getting up. But she's jogging off the field under her own power. Well, she was going. That was one of her better shots. You know she can shoot from distance. That's what you like. Hard and on frame. Good save out of the keeper. 18 seconds left. Nope. Goalkeeper is going to clear it out. He'll roll it to her and starts the clock. Here we go. Keeper has it. And it's a good hit. Just kick it out of bounds. Very good. And that's going to end the game. Excellent start to the season. Kankakee Valley Lady Cougars here at Give Eugene like Snyder this. Field. So we're going to wrap up the broadcast tonight. Let's go over what the scoring was. Sam Stone opened things up in the first half with 9.18 left to go. Gave uh, Argus a 1-0 lead. Morgan Baldwin added to that lead at 7.25 and made it 2-0 at the half. There was six shots on goal in the first half for the Lady Dragons unofficially. Second half, uh, Morgan Baldwin got out and uh, scored quickly with 37-23 left to make it 3-0, and that is her second goal of the night. And Morgan Dunlap with a pair of goals at 32-41 and 18-16 rounded off your scoring and made it 5-0. The shots on goal for the second half were unofficially 9 for the Lady Dragons and 4 for the Lady Cougars, so for the game... 9-15 shots on goal for the Lady Dragons, five goals uh, to four shots on goal and no goals for the Lady Cougars. So, Andy, we talked about it throughout the game. I really like a lot of the things that we saw. If I had to pick a game, a player of the game, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Morgan Baldwin. Yeah, well, you know, we, we don't typically do, but I think... I think tonight I would probably go with about eight players. <laughs> I mean, they were outstanding. Morgan Baldwin, why she was in, was just pure hustle, pure guts, and you love to see that tenacity. Uh, you know, great work. 
Manikowski really didn't have to do much tonight. She was called on duty one time, and she really performed well in that situation. Uh, you know, stone to stone in the center in the back, running through the middle. You had, like we talked about, Vanderweel and Allen, just tremendous. And then the subs that were coming in, you know, they would, they did great work. Katie Dean and uh, uh, Betts and Lauren Hampton. I mean, just everyone played very well. The subs were just awesome. The, the team did very, very good tonight. And, uh, you know, Kankakee Valley has been known to be physical and a tough team. And it was giving us fits in the past, but today we really showed them what we're made of, and it was just a, an all-out great game. Um, first goal for uh, the season uh, goes to Stone, the senior. She's uh, you know she's got to be happy with that, and uh, she's typically been a defender more than anything. She's uh, in you know, but she's had long-distance goals and a lot of free kicks and corners and so on and so forth. But uh, to be in the mids, uh, that's kind of a nice uh, coach Stone. You got to give him a credit. He recognized that there's. Uh, they're not getting the ball back on defense, so they move some players around. And, uh, you know, the, the staff over there, Vanderwill and Hopkins, and tons and tons of experience, and uh, it, it really showed through tonight. Well, yeah, and you, you mentioned that when he moved Sam up, it was really kind of, you know, back and forth very even for most of the first half. And then when they got that first goal in with 9.18 left to go, uh, the whole tone of the game really changed. It got a little chippier. Uh, the Lady Dragons, I think they out-muscled oh, Kankakee yeah. Valley. I mean, they really did, and I, I really uh, liked what I saw in that aspect as well. So, well, Andy, a uh, great opening night for the uh, Lady Dragons. Uh, unfortunately, the boys' team over in Warsaw wasn't quite as successful, but we <laughs> Well, we, we, we want to wish well to uh, Caden Nifong, one of our players on JV. Broken arm or broken wrist, I'm not real sure, but something was broken tonight. First minute of the game, and uh, Colin Odell, he got knocked out in a possible broken nose. So we hope those guys get better. Well, they're going to be out for a while. Yeah. <laughs> but still, you know, uh, yeah, the boys are going to have a little bit different season than what they've had in years past. But uh, Coach Vander will bring them around. He always does, and the, the boys always step up. They're good, good, good kids. All right, well, we're going to be coming back your way uh, with the second game of the season for the Lady Dragons. We're going to be heading up to Plymouth oh, yeah. and uh, covering a road game up there against the Lady – what's the soccer? Are they Rockies or Lady Pilgrims? Rockies. Lady Rockies, okay. So we're going to be on the air Thursday night from Plymouth High School where the uh, Lady Dragons will look to stay perfect on the season uh, with a 1-0 uh, and start. So – uh, for Andy Stone, all the uh, fine folks here with RTC, Alex, and, and everybody that's here, uh, appreciate your help tonight. And uh, Great way to start the season. Beautiful night. Uh, the field is just you know, beautiful. You can see the shot right there. And So uh, I'm going to wrap it up uh, for Andy and I. Uh, Steve Stricker here. Uh, good night from uh, Eugene Snyder Field. And we'll see you on Thursday for the Lady Dragons and the Lady Rockies.